one, lesson 47. <clears throat> this is percents less than 100 and then percents greater than 100. Okay, the way Saxon is teaching this one, um, it seems to me in my brain um, a lot harder than it should be. So I'm going to teach you um, the way I think it needs to be taught. If you want to read back the book, you're welcome to do that and see how they do it, and you can do it their way. I don't care. Um, but it makes more sense um, to do it differently. So, I'm going to write down the problem. 20% of what number, I'm just going to put number, what number, like that, is 15. Now, the first thing you need to realize is that whenever you see 20%, any kind of word problem, any kind of math problem, and you see 20%, you can't just put 20 there. Okay, because it's 20%. So you have to ask yourself, what does this actually mean? What is 20%? Well, there's two different ways that you can write 20%. 0. 0.2 or 20 over 100. Okay, so 20% could be written as a decimal number or as a fraction. So originally, let's just do 20 over 100 because that says 20 per cent. 20 per 100. Percent, this the word right here means this, per 100, because there's 100 cents I mean a dollar, okay? So that's kind of how I think of it. So 20% is written like this. Now, hopefully you remember from previous, previous, long ago lessons, <clears throat> to write this as a decimal number, remember that after the decimal is tenths, hundredths. So then we just write that in that spot. So hopefully you remember that 0 .20 or 0 .2, like Isaac said, um, this is a terminal zero, which means you literally can write zeros for the rest of your life, and it still means 0.2. Okay? So, you could either do this problem 20 over 100 or 0 0.20. Okay? I like working with decimals, so I'm going to want to do that. So, I'm going to make, whenever you see this 20%, you have to either put it in this form or this form. I'm going to do decimal form. Okay? So, 20%. Of, remember in math, of means time. So, so far we've got 0 0.20 of what number in is 15. Then it becomes a normal math problem that we work all the time, okay? So, since we're trying to get the n by itself, we want to take this times 0 0.20 divide by 0 .20. and divide by 0 0.20. So, when we do that, we would end up getting 75 as the answer. Okay? Final answer. All right. Now, let's do a few more of these just so you're making sure you're understanding. Because then we're going to get different kind of word problems. All right? Listen to this one. What percent, what percent of 140 is 98? That's the question. Now, because this says what percent... I need you to pay attention to what we're doing. So, right now, what we know about percents are, let's just do 20 since that was the easiest, since we are, we're familiar with it. 20 over 100 looks like that as a fraction. What does it look like as a decimal? 0.2. 0 0.20. And what does it look like as a percent? 20%. 20%. Now, keep this knowledge in the back of your mind, okay? <clears throat> now, what percent of 140 is 98? So I'm going to put it um, in, and I'm going to make sure I put percent there because I'm not just wanting to know the number, I'm wanting to know the percent. Of 140 is 98. Okay? We want to get the n by itself, so we take this times 140 and divide by 140, right? Because we move it across the equals. All right, so then that's 98. Can you do that on your calculator real quick? 98, I got it right here. 98 divided by 140. <clears throat> Tell me what that is. 0. 0.7. 0. 0.7. Okay, so the answer is 0. 0.7. Okay, so let's look down here. That could be written as 0. 0.70, right? But that's not the answer. Now we have to put it in percent. That's the number. That's the number. That's the decimal number. Now we have to change it into percent. So 0.70 becomes 70%. 70%. Very good. Okay, you understand how we did that? That's why it's so important that you don't just put in, you put in percent. That shows you that you take the number and write it in percent form. Got it? Okay, 
Next, listen to this one. 15% of 300 is what? Okay, so how do I write? Remember what you do with 15%? We can put it 15 over 100 or a decimal number, 0.15 of 300 is n. This actually, we don't have to do anything because we got the n on that side. So that times 300 is 45. Okay, final answer, n equals 45. Now, let's do, we move over and they want us to start doing percents greater than 100. So listen to this. What number is 160% of 60? That's the question. Now, I want to talk about this 160%. Okay? If I have 100%, what does that equal as a number? Okay, no, no, no. What does 100% equal oh, one. as a whole? That equals 1. Okay, now stay with me. 1.6. Yes, so what does 160% equal? 1.6. Now, if you don't know how to do that, just take 160, and remember percent means over 100, right? So if I take 160 and divide it by 100, there's actually, I can do this and fulfill it. Okay, but there's an actually an easier way. 160 divided by 100. Any times you are, anytime you are dividing by or even multiplying, there's an easy thing that you can do with decimals. Dividing by 100 means I have two zeros, so I can divide by 100 just by moving the decimal number. So 160 is a decimal at the end, even though you can't see it. So because it has two zeros, you can move it to the left, and it becomes 1.60. Okay, now if it said multiply by 100, then you would take your decimal and you can move it two places to the right when you multiply. Remember that whole rule? Mm -hmm. So we're dividing by 100 now. If you don't remember all these rules, just do it down here. You'll end up getting 1.6, 0. You don't have to put that 0, but okay. Anyway, so you just need to know this because this 160% I'm going to make into a number. Remember, you can't leave it as a percent in the problem. So now, let me change this. <clears throat> 1.60. What is, what number is this of this? So it's basically asking what number is equals 160 of times 60. So that, if you take 160 and divide, times it by 60, you're going to end up getting 96 as your answer. Okay, I'm not going to do the math here. Okay, I'm just going to walk through how to do this. Now, this next problem I really need you to pay attention to. So focus, focus, focus. <clears throat> if you hear something like this, if 75 is increased by 150%, what is the result? So I'm going to write that down. <clears throat> if 75 is increased, increased by 150%, what is the result? What is the answer? What is the result? Now, if you hear this, is increased by, Adding. and you have a, well, in a normal problem, but you are talking about percents, oh. it becomes something totally different. Okay, so that's what I was trying to focus on. Okay, so if 75 is increased by 150%, here's what I need you to do. Well, I guess two years ago, you can do it the way book do it, does it. So confusing. So I'm going to do it the way that I think is the best. So um, I taught you, if you followed my videos in any way, um, how to do these by doing this. We're going to make a percent chart. Do you remember that? So we've got percent and actual count. All right? Now, when you're working with percents and actual count, you have three things on the side. And the three things that we're working with is the original number, the original percent, the original value. Um, how much it is increased or decreased, so we always put a plus negative, hopefully you remember that, or plus minus. Um, that shows the degree that it has gone up or the degree that it has gone down. It could have said decreased by. And then you have the new amount. Those are the three things that you need to remember when you're working with a percent and actual count that says this in it. Okay, so what is the original number? 75. If 75 is increased, 
So 75 is the actual count, the actual number, okay? And what percent is a normal number worth? 100. 100. So just in and of itself, that's the original price, that's the original percent, okay? And then it says it's increased by 150. Mm -hmm. So 150 what? 150 percent. This is where the increase or the decrease percent goes, 150. Now, what is the result? <clears throat> if 75, the number, is increased by that, what is the result? Are they wanting to tell me what is this result? Are they wanting to know what is the final amount for percent? No. They're wanting to know what is the final number once you increase it. So the final number would be actual count, and that's the new number. So I'm going to put in. Did you get that? Yeah. They're not wanting to know the increase in the number. They're wanting to know the final answer once we increase it. Got it? Yeah. Okay. So we kind of need to either fill in this number or fill in this number. And we're not even going to need this because they're asking us the results. So we're needing this answer. So can we figure out what the new percent is? 250%. 150 plus 100 is 250. Yeah. Now, hopefully you remember from previous teachings, you take one row that has everything you need and one row that you need to know about. Yeah. We need to know this. So we take this row because we need to know it, and this one has everything we need. So those are the two rows we're taking. So what you do, I'm going to remove this, okay, is you take this 100 and put it over the one you need. So these are the two things we're working with. I'm going to erase this to show you. I'm going to go 100 over 250 equals 75 over N. Got it? And now it becomes um, a cross multiply problem. So 100 times N equals 250 times 75 is. Got it? 250 times 75 is 18,750. Okay, now we want an N by itself, so this times 100 becomes divide by 100. Okay, and when you divide that, remember when you divide, you have two zeros, so it's going to go 1, 2. So the actual number is going to be 187.50. That's our answer. So remember, the original amount was 75, and then when we increased it by 150% and got 250, our new amount is 187.50. Got it? Yeah. So, see how we do that? Yeah. All right, last problem. You need to watch that one over and over. You can. All right, 47.6. Listen to this one. What percent, what percent of 90 is 306? Now, again, we're working with what percent. They don't tell us. So, remember, put in percent. We don't want to just put in, we want in percent. Of times 90 is 306. Got it? We want in percent by itself, so we take this times 90 and divide by 90. Okay? 306 divided by 90 is 3.4. Now, that's just our answer. Right? Okay? So I'm going to come down here, remember our 20 over 100. <coughs> 0.20 is that as a decimal, and 20% is, so this is fraction, decimal, percent. We have a decimal answer, okay? 3.4, we had 0.20. What did I do with the decimal to get it from here to here? I moved it 1, 2 to make it 20%, or 20 point, if you want to. So here I'm going to go boom, boom. Just like this one went boom, boom, to get 20%, boom, boom. Fill it in, and what do I have? 340%. Mm -hmm. Final answer. Okay? So, it's important. This, you do this, and then you don't just leave it as an in answer. You change it to percent um, here. Okay? Yep. That is lesson 47.